What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I'm going to pick on this Lockwood Rim Cylinder that was sent to me by Noctis Modus. So, awesome locks, these Lockwoods, very, very good uh, construction, very well built, and the tolerances are very high on these locks. Uh, you can't even feel the center of this lock, it's nice and smooth. I mean, maybe if you, if you try, you could just feel where the pins pass, but, I mean, all locks are like that, but... This is uh, what you would call smooth as glass, and I'm sure it's, it hasn't been lubed or anything. So, nice and smooth, very well built lock. Um, tell just by turning the key in it. And uh, if it's like anything like the other one, uh, the tolerances are going to be so good that it's going to be hard to figure out what's going on in this lock. I haven't been picking for a while either, so I am a little, uh, a little rusty, but. That is not an excuse. Uh, I should be able to get into this thing without any issues. And um, maybe even a little faster than that padlock, because now I'm kind of used to them. But we'll give it a shot here. Uh, as always, you can visit Noctis's channel by clicking up on the corner on his icon there. Uh, make sure you go over there and subscribe and watch his videos and all that good stuff. He's an awesome member of the community and uh, supplier of Lockwoods, apparently. Uh, really great guy and uh, good picker too. So let's uh, get into this Lockwood and take it apart and see what's in it, guys. A little bit out of five. Oh, now I got feedback. Oh, yep, definitely spool. Another one on four here. Another one on three. I dropped something doing that though, so I'm going to go back to the back. See if I can find which ones I dropped. Probably two of them. Definitely dropped five. I think four is still set. I'm not sure. I'm going to continue on here. Set everything else and then come back for it if it doesn't open. Pin one. And I can hear dropping. Again, so I'm dropping pins, trying to set these spools it means a very, very well built and finely balanced lock. It's five again, five likes to drop, four again, three again. So I dropped everything, setting one. I should have started with pin one, but I always start in the back of the lock, it's just what I do. Five again. Pin four again. So these uh, definitely like to drop pins, these Lockwoods. Five again. Wow. <laughs> so five and four uh, constantly dropping. Constantly. Just a balance act, just a dance back and forth trying to get into this thing, guys. But it is open now. Um, very well built lock. And uh, very fun to pick too. There's not a lot of feedback on those spools. If I had to guess, I'd say they're probably like what was in the padlock there. And uh, that means very shallow spools with short ends on them. So very quick to, to set once you've gotten out of the spool. Which means it'd probably be really easy to overset. Do this without stabbing myself here. All right, I might have to lock this up. I try not to. It's not a spring clip. It looks like a bending clip. So we'll uh, try.
by forcing it first. There we go. Now let's... Looks like quite the step on the back of this plug. I might have to uh, run a shim down there. Actually, I'm going to just in case. I don't want to risk screwing up. One of my only Lockwoods. <laughs> I am going to send this back out stock, guys. It's, uh, these Lockwoods are really nice locks. I'm going to keep the padlock in my collection, as you guys saw. I put it there already, and that's where it's going to stay. But um, these other two, this one and the Oval, I'm going to, uh, after I pick them in my next trade, I'm going to send them out stock, because it'd be a shame if someone was to turn them into challenge locks. I know a lot of other guys like picking stock locks, and uh, so do I. So I'll send these out stock. And hopefully they stay that way. But uh, it's not up to me. I can send them out in stock. That's all I can do. So it looks like we got uh, brand new lab pins. Still got the color on them. What the? Oh, it's just upside down. I thought it was a T-pin for a sec. <laughs> This lighting is a little weird. I usually have two uh, 200 watt lights, uh, one from either side there, but uh, in this temporary space, I'm kind of limited for room, so I only have the one coming from the right here. It seems to be good enough, but um, ultimately, when I got my area set up, I will uh, have way more lighting, better lighting. No uh, counter milling or anything in the chambers there, in the plug. And up top, I'm expecting spools. Crap. Yep, short, or sorry, shallow, um, sharp spools. All of them, apparently. Jumped out, airborne there. Good spring pressure. Yep, all spools, all the Lockwood type of spools. I like these types of spools. They're pretty sharp, not very deep, so they don't give you a lot of feedback. That's what was in. Crap. <laughs> uh, well, this pin order is probably uh, not right on the bottom here, guys. But I'll double check it before I put it back together. Sorry about that. So no tilting it. There we go. See what I mean about those spools? It's nice and shallow with very sharp edges on them. So uh, that was this Lockwood rim cylinder sent to me by Noctis Modus. Again, guys, make sure you go and check his channel out and go watch his videos. Subscribe to him. Awesome lock picker, awesome member of the community. And thanks a lot, Noctis, for these uh, Lockwoods. I'm really enjoying them. Um, don't get a lot of stuff around here that I haven't already picked, especially Lockwoods. You can't even find them around here. So very awesome. Thanks, Noctis. Thanks, everyone else, for watching. Later.